Okay, in this video, we're talking about a full body warm up routine. So, the first thing I like to do is just basically start from the ground up. So, I always start with my calves, and I do one at a time. As you can see, I have one leg on top of the other, and I just kind of do this motion back and forth, back and forth, but I'm always moving my ankle. I want to move my ankle and my foot in a circular motion both directions. I point it, I pull it, I try and do as many different movements. Just really breaking up the tissue and I do that on both calves. Then finally, I find an angle board which works best, but just find something where we can get at some type of angle. And then I have a straight leg approach, a bent knee approach. I drive my hip forward. I try and you know just work different angles. Uh, here I'm pointing at my toe. Um, I wanna have big toe pressure. And that, that what that does is keep my foot down. And, but it also, when I can do these uh, rotational movements, it allows me to get different vectors and different aspects of the calf tissue leading down into the ankle. And it really just breaks up the tissue of the ankle. And then what I really like to do is just find a wall and do some calf raises that I'm getting a good stretch here, driving energy down into my heel, but then I'm doing this calf raise uh, to get full expression of not only firing all the calf muscles, but um, definitely stretching out the calf to its full capacity. Um, then we're moving up to the second exercise where we're just gonna foam roll the quadriceps and hip flexors. So I always liked actually to do one leg at a time. I feel like I get more pressure down on the leg. And then you'll see me doing this kind of this knee uh, flexion movement. I'm breaking up the tissue. This is a little technique. It doesn't feel good, but I break up the tissue faster. And you can see this video is kind of in a fast forward. I think I have it just like on a 1.5. It's just a little bit faster uh, just to get through this quicker. But anyway, it's, it's all about breaking up that tissue. And then as always, I always follow up every single time I foam roll, I follow it up with a stretch. You notice that in the calf, you, you're now you're seeing it in the, in the, in the quadricep, but I wanna squeeze my hip and go into these stretches. And what that does, it, it transfers the energy to where I want it, which is in the front, the quadricep and the hip flexor. Um, these little movements that I'm doing up above really help out with the hip flexor movements and all of the musculature kind of leading into the low back and the lats. Here I'm doing a little rotational movement, but the idea really is to get that foot up elevated and go into a quadricep hip flexor stretch and then move in various angles. Um, and this little rotation movement that I did just works really well to open up that hip. And then lastly, we want to foam roll the low back first. So I'm gonna kind of focus on the lower portion of my back. I get both sides. And then I kind of move up into my lats. This one takes a little bit longer sometimes. I'll, I'll pull my arm above, I'll kind of drag it down, I'll kind of rotate in and out from the back side of my body to my pec. Uh, but really, I just have that foam roller right in basically my armpit. And then here you'll see me, um, I'm really trying to get T-spine extension, this thoracic spine extension. This is a good one for anyone that sits uh, for long periods of time at a desk. This is just a good opener, um, postural exercise. Love this. I, I'm breathing here. I'm really taking in deep breaths and relaxing through that. That one takes a little bit longer as you can see the video is sped up. But then again, here we go. If we foam roll it, then we're stretching it. So any part of your body that you're foam rolling, you're gonna wanna stretch that afterwards. And with this one, I'm just picking out a stability ball here and I'm really trying to really reach as far as I can. I try different head positions, different low back positions, different hip positions, but I really reach as far as I can. And then just find something. Here I have a TRX. I'm gonna kind of drive some energy down into my hip, but I'm really getting a good lat stretch and hip stretch while I do that. And then I'll always finish with some type of upper body shoulder. This is a chest stretch, just some range of motion there. So there you go.